if you had one <laughs> thing you could say to, to that little you that was like, I want to do that, what would you say? I would say, you're going to look just like your character from Guitar Girl. You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing great. The, the Tony Hawk character you made is spot on. Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene, the people that make it, including me, and these guys. I'm Josh, and today my guests are a three-piece pop punk band, and there's really not much to say about them without saying that they're awesome and they all also play in other bands, or have played in other bands. They have a new album out called Can't Walk Too Drunk. They have vest patches, they have ah, t-shirts, and basically, you need to have this album. It's really awesome. I'll have a link down in the description for it. And stick around, because they're going to be playing after the interview. Please welcome to the channel, Will Chermosh Pit. Hey, Say hi, guys. Hey. Thanks for having us, man. We appreciate it. And always welcome to Room 6. We are drinking a nice Midori Sours, because one of their songs is Midori. Oh. Midori, if you're watching, sponsor <laughs> right. them. Oh. Yeah. Just the right amount of sickly sweet. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. To be fair, <laughs> if anybody's watching this and they, for some reason, don't know who you are, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and introduce yeah. yourselves. Tell them what you do in the band. Yeah, uh, I'm Jared uh, Red Cashy. Um, I play guitar and sing. And I've got Lydia or Littles, and I play the drums. I'm Alfredo, Caveman Stacy. I play bass, uh, singer, songwriter. He writes most of it, but we both. You know, right. Let's get in there. Yeah. Noise. Oh, she does a lot of. We all write. Yeah. Number she, songs. And you, uh, you do the reviews, don't you? I do reviews, I interview, I, um... Edit. I edit, yes. He's got uh, a nice beard. beard. I, yeah, my nice wife beard. trims my beard and cuts my hair. He shows up to cool shows. I do show up to cool shows. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he reviews cool shows. I do review cool shows. Unfortunately, I couldn't be at your CD release party. That's okay. Shoot. Sorry. Shoot. We're the, we were the first show before they decided to make uh, Chiba Hut acoustic on Fridays. We're the reason why they made Chiba Hut acoustic on Fridays. <laughs> nice. <What? laughs> I'm actually going to the St. Patrick's show with, um, okay. among other bands, Head Gore. So it's not going to be acoustic oh, that Oh, there you go. Yeah. Head Gore. So, no way. Uh, let's go ahead and, real quick, I wanted to uh, get into some, some usual Q&A here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and talk about current influences. Who are you currently listening to to kind of get you jazzed up and, and like, want to make music? Anybody? Um, recently I've been listening to, uh, a lot of, uh, like, uh, the Bronx. Been listening to them a lot. Uh, I've been listening to some local bands. Um, I've been listening to more, like, kind of, uh, just, just different stuff. M stuff that would not necessarily even sound like at all. Um, just because I, th I feel like I, I, I write better when I listen to things that are just completely different than, than the genre I'm playing. And, um, which, it, it's obviously nice to be listening to, you know, things that are, the sound you kind of want to go for. But I feel like sometimes I write better things when I... I was just something completely kind of abstract from from it. So I've been listening to a lot of um, just like weird stoner metal sort of stuff, and just yeah, you know, uh, like uh, John Fogarty, and just sort of everything different, you know. And having fun with that, right on. Yeah, I tried. I tried to throw you. It didn't no, it's cool. <laughs> You're good. How are you? Like you trying to listen to? Personally, I've been learning a lot of covers lately. I've been learning a lot of music. Uh, playing in a few bands, so I've been listening to a lot of the songs that I'm playing. Uh, I do like to listen to a lot of the old school uh, pop punk, the two thousands pop punk. You know, now that's what I call pop punk. My Chemical right? Romance, <laughs> Green Day, all that good stuff always gets me jazzed up. Uh, you know, Falling in Reverse and right. that kind of stuff. Cool. Be. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of local music. I've been like constantly studying like what the music scene is out here in Las Vegas. So like, I've been listening to a lot of Taking Dawn, like. Uh, Adelita's Way, Bravo Delta has been really cool, yep. and uh, Crimson Riot, you know, we've played yeah, a show great. with them recently at They're our really release show. Um, other bands, I play in another band, uh, it's like an early 2000s, like, kind of emo music, so, like, I'm listening to a lot more of, like, 30 Seconds to Mars, Paramore, and, yeah. like, just, like, things like that. It's been, like, it's a pretty my Spotify, like, playlist, like, can go from, like, 
I don't know, like eighties country to like you know EDM to like post hardcore. If you like hit that like you know like right on thing for it, but that's, yeah, that's a pretty wide kind mix. Of, yeah, nice. you can kind of hear it in our sound that we we have a wide mix, you know. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. One of the things I love doing about one of the things I love about doing this show is that I ask that question and I hear all these acts that I've never heard of, and then when I'm editing, I'm like, nope, check them out. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so wanted to talk about show memories. Mm-hmm. Now, how long have you, the three of you, been wheelchair and marsh pit? Oh, uh, it's a little over a year now. It's like a uh, year and a couple, of, two, three months. Something okay. Like that. Yeah. So, what is your favorite show memory as wheelchair and mosh pit? <laughs> and, and, and it looks like you already got a few. Yeah, we've got a couple. So, yeah. tell the people, please. Um, well, I really liked when we were playing with the your other band, and uh, your uh, oh, <laughs> your your fellow musician walked off stage. We were, is this Danger Love? Uh, no, 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 no. This is something. Um, Digital is a little more professional than that. Uh, oh, no, wow. Name, yeah. Names, uh, I won't name names. Okay. But, uh, but, yeah, he is uh, a um, musician he was playing with who, who, the entire time I was watching him, I was like, you're so talented. He's so unbelievably talented. I would love to play with this guy. I'd love to go on tour with him. This guy's great. He is so talented. But he then he just literally in the middle of the show just walked off stage. You know, it was kind of happened like a couple times. You it, know? It like, the the time before that, he, he quit on like multiple songs and we just. Forced the show through. He just decided he was done playing. Yeah, yeah. literally yeah, just yeah, like no. like I, he, I dude. Looked over, cool. His guitar stopped. He stopped playing, and I looked over and I'm like, I literally got up and I was like, I'm gonna grab my guitar. He needs a guitar. Something's going wrong. Uh, his guitar must be broken. Oh, I'll go do mine. And then literally, I I'm, as I'm grabbing my guitar, he literally is putting his. He start. He walks off stage, puts his guitar in his guitar bag, and I'm like, well, hold on, what's going on? And he just walks into bed. Yeah. No words, just not no, yeah, no, not a single word. And then they, the, you know, he and his the drummer just look at each other like, what, what, what do we do? And then he, exactly, that was kind of everybody in the bar's reaction it was, yeah, it was hard. It was hard to look at because again, this guy is so talented. He's right. a, he's a good musician, yeah. but you know, but there wasn't even like a yeah. fight or anything. Just if yeah. there was going to be a fight, it would have been because he walked off stage. I want to kick his face. Out. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that 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 was weird. Yeah, you don't, you don't but. Do that's... You can teach a musician. Wow. You, you can teach anybody to shred. At the, at the end of the day, as with thousands of hours of it, anybody can right. shred. And, and and not to say that shredding is not an unbelievably talented skill, but but you can't teach somebody to not walk off stage. Yeah, like you can't teach. Well, you can teach professionalism, but but only so much. That's that's a whole. I've never heard that. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean yes, like a fight or something. Yes, because yeah, well, we were all just kind of sitting there looking at it like, like the entire bar. Like, just the, 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 the bartender kind of looking over like, do I put the music back on? But, and we, we jumped on that show actually like two days. And they asked us to one, them, like yeah. one, one or two days notice. I guess that's where you go. Uh, like, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it was very yeah. uncomfortable, I think, for everybody. We we got on stage and I said, "All right, guys, I'm sorry about that. He had to go. He had a you know, he's a doctor. He's got a heart surgery. He's, <laughs> uh, he's an FBI agent. They called him to a gig. Dig it out. Yep. These things happen. You know." But, uh, no, those things don't happen. Yeah, well, that's what's so weird about it. Yeah. I mean, I get, like, okay, uh, I, I've seen I've seen video where uh, Jewel, the singer Jewel, mm-hmm. she was at playing MTV Spring Break or whatever, gets hit with the beach ball. It's like, ding, bye. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not paid, no, I'm not paid yeah. enough to deal with that. Yeah, 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 totally. I know, I know a local musician uh, who was playing uh, Margaritaville on the strip and got <laughs> yeah. pelted with ice cubes and it was like, nope, bye. Yeah, I, I, uh... Yeah, but, I wouldn't want to do or, that. and of course, there's been the fights on stage and things like that, but never just... Suddenly, he's not there. <laughs> yeah, and none of us really to this day know why. We don't really know. Yeah. And again, you know, we have no animosity to him. You know, I I don't know if we're feeling shared all the way. I don't around, know. I but, think. But, I, I, but I uh, honest, honestly, you know, there was still some good that happened from it because yeah. I learned a lot of good like music like yeah. on bass. I bought my first five string right. just to play in that band and whatnot. And, like I got to play like with people that yeah. I felt like were pretty talented on that. Everybody that band is very talented, but, but sign, that that that, that was person that walked off that stage and whatnot and left. Once he did that and he screwed up for the second time, uh, mm-hmm. it, you we would never we would no, never go back. Me and that other musician, the drummer. We totally just formed a whole new project together because we knew yeah, we're yeah. good. We're like, yeah, you know, yeah. we want to do like good things. Like, well, what here? We what, what works here? Together. What, what works and what doesn't yeah. work? You know, so weird. And it but, was weird. It was right. it was hard to watch. All right, uh, how, best favorite yeah. show memory? You got one. Mm-hmm. I one of my favorite memories, like playing with wheelchair mosh pit, is uh, Jared had like contacted somebody that was posting things for like an event in. Phoenix, Arizona, oh, actually. Yeah. And, um, yeah. 
Uh, we made sure like that we had like contracts made. We were supposed to get like a set, like you know, couple, like some dollars, and then, like with probably like four, you know, digits yeah. on it, something yeah. like that. Four digit deal. And uh, we went in Arizona. We drove out there. And, you know, we have our Airbnb, we're getting, He's got, like, free rooms, got we got, like, you know, um, a contract written, and we're going to play for four hours, right? Yeah. Right, right. And, and, um, it was games. actually, um, Danger Love was going to play. Wait, wait, wait. You guys were going to play for four hours? Or the show uh, was going to So we were going to play for, like, an hour, and Danger Love was going to play for an say. hour. Scotty Dub was going to play for an hour, and then we were all going to, we, uh, no, we were going to play for two hours. We, we played two sets. It was an hour and fifteen between yeah. our two right, right, right. right. And then, like, yeah. between the times, there was 15 minutes. Okay. Like, we yeah. were headlining with two sets, and they all had a set. Yeah. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. But what was the, so the memory was just so, being treated like that? or? Uh, so we went out there, and uh, we stayed the one night, and then we get a phone call in the morning, or so they So did. he's like, he's like, well, he was telling us, he's like, yeah, I'm going to put you up, I'm going to take good care of you, and we're like, all right, cool, you've already, oh, no. put, you know, like, okay, it sounds like a good deal, this is cool, but it was also obviously a little... It's kind of hard to believe, so, you know, this feels weird, you know? Yeah. Because yeah, you never get treated that nicely, you know what I mean? Right, and, like, right, you've right. got an Airbnb, and we show up, and we have this nice Airbnb, we're like, this, this is, I guess this is real. And the next morning, we get a phone call, and... Okay, so we get the phone call, and um, the whole event ended up getting canceled. The whole thing like, you know, like, for the music, and when wow. it's like, you what know, we drove permits? all the way from Las Vegas for this event, because, like, it was so out. promising, and we're right, not right, in right. a... We ended up, you know, so we're like, calling calling the bar, telling them, you know, what, we're still playing the show. The we're show. gonna be there for it. Nice. Like, and then like, you can cancel it, but we're not canceled. You know, like we're just, we're gonna play. We'll show up yeah. and play. We're on contract. You know, yeah. At that point, like we're gonna fulfill. That's our true. Wow. So, yeah, exactly. All right. That was our reaction too. Was like, what's going on? So we were gonna play the show anyways. We decided to show up at the bar. Mm -hmm. We showed up, we set up, we were playing, and actually the guy who set this whole event up, who had canceled it on us, said he was still going to pay us. Like, he originally said he would pay us. Okay. He said he was going to show up halfway through our set. So we started playing, and by the time we got to our set, which we were last, and we had two sets. We played one set, he wasn't there. Mm -hmm. We stopped our set yeah. there. They went to his house. To get nervous. Made sure that they got paid, came back, and then we finished the show. So what, 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 happened, at his, what happened at his house? So tell them about what happened at his house. Okay, so like, when, when we got to his house, like, there's only three people. Like, we knew exactly what we were going to do Like when we got there. It's like, there's no way that we we're leaving. There's no way that we're playing for free. And then we know where this dude lives. So we showed up there, <laughs> and uh, the three people, like, it was Jared, me, and uh, Vet Rod, Vet Rod plays for Danger Love. Uh, we get there. Jared's being friendly, you know, trying to just like, you know talk talk about everything. He's he's playing good cop and trying to be like, okay, it's okay, but like, let's do this and that. And then uh, then I would chime in, and I'm bad cop. Like I'm, and I'm a mean. <laughs> I mean look at you. I can <laughs> be like a mean motherfucker when it's time to be mean. Like you know, like so. Then we had like uh, kind of somebody in the in between one where it's like Michael okay Michael okay, Michael like, Rod's kind of he kept the conversation yeah, going Michael Rod yeah. is not bad cop for sure but like no, playing yeah, right. big good cop bad cop and totally nice, I mean but, like, we I was to, like, I was throw, ready yeah. to like you know do a lot yeah like, you know, like, that, it, I would be was, like it was like hey I know you're gonna give the money to us it's cool hey I know that. and then he'd be like but we're gonna need it before we leave before we leave here to this house uh, you know? we pulled in I told them you know what block the driveway. Block the driveway, <laughs> yeah, right. leave the lights on, there's no way they can leave. And you know what, also... It, was, it wasn't we're not, event. And he was like, he was, he was like, oh, okay, I can get you the money. And then he goes starting to fight, and he's like, oh, 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 oh let, me, let me get it to you right now. <laughs> he's, it was something yeah, else. I told, I told him, he was like, we're not leaving here until we get paid. Yeah. Meanwhile, you're at the venue, just waiting. Just, I was just at the venue uh, drinking and, you know... Taking Midori shots. Hoping they make it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah try, Midori. Trying yeah. not to be in a bad mood, yeah. Right. This was actually my favorite experience, though, because you know, like there was like so much strength between the people that were there. Yeah. Yeah, and it food. was just like such a good time. We we made breakfast together, nice. and, like in the morning before the show, and we yeah. they went swimming and we played some yeah. songs and like we had like this big old road trip. It was like amazing. Like the people that were there, it was like you know wheelchair yeah. mosh pit, danger love, and Scotty Dub, and like it was just it was a good group. It was a group, good group of people. Nice. It was like man, these are our people. It, it was kind of a, one of those experiences where you're just like. Okay, you know, you, you've you've conquered the road, you've conquered the enemy of, of not being paid, you've you've conquered the music, like 
we're on top of everything. It was a good. It was a good feeling. It was. We overcame everything that got, everything that came towards us. You know. Right on. Yeah. Uh, all right. I have one question for each of you, like specifically for each of you. Yeah. And then we'll we'll, we'll wrap this up and get some music playing. Sounds okay. good. Okay. Mm, all right. Yeah. You saw a hen in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, the hen in the wheelchair. Yeah. What? what, yeah. what, what, what right. So that was at um out in the Utah. They have this uh, animal sanctuary out there. Um, save them all, uh, best friends animal society, and they, they have just, I mean, every animal under the sun that they could, that, that's come to them that needs, that needs a place to stay, um, they, they'll take, and it's a bunch of, of vegans that run the place, and it's just really cool, so they have this, this rooster there that, um, was in a wheelchair, had in a wheelchair, and just, like, it couldn't walk, so they're like, we'll make it walk, and so it was a wheelchair, and I saw <laughs> it, I'm just, just like, that's, that is, that is badass, that's really cool. Well, that is our a, spirit animal. Yeah, that is our, literally our spirit animal, it's like, this, this head is just like, I'm surprised I that's care. not on the cover of the I, album. I really thought about it, I really thought about it, because I would just be, can't just walk too else. drunk with it. Right <laughs> chicken that just barely getting by. Right on. It's just cool, man. No, you that know? is, that is weird. Right? Um, alright. Yeah, a little. The Fifth Fire. You want to talk about that? <laughs> Mary Lou Benson fan. Oh my god. We're going to talk about The Fifth Fire. Okay, yeah. let's go fire. ahead and do that. Uh, the Fifth Fire was my very first band that I ever joined, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. I was absolutely in love. I was enthralled. The vocalist fucking amazing. He now, was a really good... It wasn't a Marilyn Manson cover band, right? No, it was not. We did do a Marilyn Manson cover. We did a great fucking Marilyn Manson that's what cover. I saw a lot of, was that? Now, uh, it's because that was his best song. Like, he just went off on that song. Mm -hmm. And we had a lot of fun with that band. We were really good. Our problem was keeping members. Our problem was the I Am The Band situation. And, uh, you know, the problem was me being the longest running member of four years out of a 10 year band. Yeah. And so I picked up everything and I moved to Vegas with that band to find members because it became, oh, well, we're in Kansas. We can't find members. So it's, you know, if we move to Vegas, we'll find members. Well, we couldn't keep members still. There was, right. there was the main running issue. And so... Eventually, I was told that I was no longer into the band and that I was not uh, actually putting anything into it, even though I picked up and moved my entire life out here to Vegas for oh, that band. Suck. So I got broken up with, and <laughs> I, I was devastated. Yeah. I was absolutely devastated. I love The Fifth Fire. It was a great band. We really we really had a lot of talent to bring, and you know that it, it killed me. And honestly, these guys are the only reason I didn't move back to Kansas and just drop the dream altogether. Oh. Okay. Speaking of moving to Vegas, Canadian alert! <laughs> yeah. Hey, what brought you to Vegas all the way from Canadian land? So I was born and raised in Canada, mm -hmm. and um, I actually came from like a, a family of musicians. My my grandpa was a musician. Uh, he traveled all of like Asia, and like he was from oh, the wow. Philippines. My my uh, grandpa's from the Philippines. He played like a lot in Japan. My dad was born in Japan. And then, like, they moved to Canada to play some more music for, you know, like, him. So, like, then my dad grew up, had me. Right. My dad started playing music, like, when he was, like, 15 years old. And then, um, so, like, I grew up traveling around a lot. And then uh, we ended up just here in Vegas. And right. then, uh, it's, like, now it's, like, I'm here now because I'm playing music. It's, like, it's such a great, like, location for people to, like... Put out original music, want to play cover music, like there's right. like a business for all of it right now. It's like actually a uh, booming like city right now. It is, totally. it is. But that's like pretty much why I'm here. It seems um, like the music scene is slowly starting, the original music scene is slowly starting to come back a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask him one more, more bonus yeah. question because I, I got to ask it. As the only member of the band with a kid, right? Yeah. That's right. As right. far as you know. Yeah. I have a yeah. snake. She doesn't count. Yeah. As the only member of the band <laughs> with a kid. How does your kid feel about dad trying to hold on to his youth? <laughs> Holding on to the youth. I still think that I'm pretty young. You are. If right? I'm uh, if I'm like you know older and whatnot, I'm still gonna feel young, and I'm just. You say that now. <laughs> well, the thing is, we're, we're, we're he the... he. My son actually really loves the music. Like he yeah. uh, really listens to like uh, wheelchair mosh pit all the time. He's always asking me to play it. He like. I gave him a CD, and he's like, you know, telling his mom to play it. Nice. You know, in his, in the van. And nice vibe. Like, what does he know? I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, like, 
<laughs> when he was young, uh, like, you know, even one, two years old, probably two years old, is when he started, like, singing songs that I've been writing. Because I always, I always write music and, like, I always put it on a CD, stick it in there, and, like, I'll review it and review it. Mm-hmm. And he's there all the time. My son's always there with me. Aww. Again, I don't really share too much of my personal life, but I will with you guys Aww. tonight. But uh, he's always there with me. He always knows the music and whatnot. And he knows that his father is like you know, a strong individual that's like the driven, you know. And that's good. Of that's important. Yeah. Yeah. All right. One last question for the band. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we're going to hear some music. If you could talk to little you back when you first wanted to get into music, if you had one thing you could tell that person, don't say change your strings, if you had one <laughs> thing you could say to, to that little you that was like, I want to do that, what would you say? I would say, you're going to look just like your character from Guitar Girl. You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing great. The, the Tony Hawk character you made is spot on. <laughs> and the music you play is just right. Just right. That's what I would say. Nice. <laughs> uh, that's that's the best answer I've heard so far. Go ahead. <laughs> I probably told myself that it's a long, hard road, mm-hmm. uh, not to give up, and not to get wrapped up in anybody else's dreams, trying to make someone else's dreams come true, because that's not going to get you where you need to be, by any means. Uh, yeah. Next, uh, for me, it'd probably be. Wear more black. <laughs> you know, pay attention to your appearance, and because uh, who cares who you yeah, are anyway? Right? It's like <laughs> grow, about looks. grow your hair longer, <laughs> to, and use a lot of hair straightener. In, uh, three, three in one shampoo, <laughs> conditioner, body wash uh, out of the picture is not good for you. Like, you know, this hair doesn't like stay like this from that. You know, like. I had yeah. a lot of girlfriends tell me not to use that. So, yeah, yeah. No. A lot of my my current. My wife's given up on that. that. <laughs> right? My wife's given up. I, I, I just my shower girlfriend threw it out of my shower. She won't let me hit, won't let me to have it. Oh no! Yeah. Wow. I All still right. have your your gift for that. <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to have that. All right. You're supposed to have it. Well, awesome. Uh, with, so with that, uh, throw out your three in one, and um, wear lots of black. <laughs> yes. Live for yourself. Grow your hair long. <laughs> and and um, practice your guitar, hero. Yes, right. And stick around because we are going to go see them perform up in room six. I wrote, thank you for hanging out. And uh, in the meantime, I guess we'll say temporarily goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Hey there, we are Wheelchair Mosh Pit. This is our song, Bezos Pinata Party. One, two, three, four. Pinata Party. Pinata party, Pinsos, Pinata party, time up for the candy free!
party time up with the candy free We're Wheelchair Mosh Pit, and this is our uh, song, Midori. One, two, three, four! Drunk on Midori, I'll be fine, don't worry. Wheelchair Mosh Pit, and this is our song Girls Like You.
I want to thank Wheelchair Mosh Pit for dropping by. It was a great interview and a great performance. If you want to know more about them, click the link down in the description. Get their copy of Can't Walk Too Drunk. And also check out their uh, other social media pages. In the meantime, if you want to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, click my social media link down there. And if you want to support the channel, same thing. I got merch, I got CDs, I got Patreon, all that jazz. It all helps it's the local scene. Um, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up there. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, really appreciate it. Please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say bye, guys. Bye. Have see you later. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. There's always one. <laughs> There's always one.